Hello everyone, welcome back to Fairy Tale Mysteries. It's Bubonic Zombie, and you see the daughter of the Silver Magician is hanging up here, as we've uh, observed that it seems to be she's suspended from the sky, which does seem to be true. We already looked at this door front here, and we have the puppet shop, of course. It is hard to speak. My limbs are not my own and controlled by unseen hands. But I have magic in me yet. Others would not be so lucky. They would not move except by his will as if made of stone. He found me here, this pied puppet man. His eyes were grim and shadowed. <coughs> I attempted to locate her spell with my crystals, but it was reversed, and he found me instead. You must find a way to free me. Unbind me. I don't know how. Okay. So I'm totally not creeped out right now. Okay. And there is a piece missing. Those look like scissors. Scissors are locked in this box. There must be a way to open it. Okay. Is there anything we can grab right off the bat? Need to find a way to get him down from there. Okay, here's another magic room. We hope this message arrives to you in time. Someone has been blocking our communications, and we are uncertain if this will reach you at all. Be careful, some strange and powerful force is watching you. The town of Abershire has been shrouded in darkness, and a cloak of magic prevents us from reaching you. We stand now outside the barrier. You are on your own despite our efforts. Be careful, Brothers Grimm. We have been following a dark and mysterious creature who has led us to a man bound by magic. We must cut him down somehow. Scissors, powerful everyday items. If charged, they can be used to cut ties both physical and metaphysical. But things that have been unbound cannot be put back together to be to be used with caution. Okay. We gotta be careful when we cut him down. Seems to be missing a cuckoo bird. We found the bellows. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything around we can take. Okay, so we need to go back to the forge because we have the bellows now. She's still up there. Okay. Buy them here. There we go. To mold it, we have a hammer. Door handle, a nice functioning door. Okay. What is behind this door? door we are missing a piece. It's not the painting room because this isn't a painting. Okay. Oh, can we use a sheep hook to reach that? Yes, we can. It's up there. Oh. Oh, you troll. Okay, well, that happened. 
Thought there was a person in the stable, love, but it was nothing more than a scarecrow. That odd man, he appeared as if from nowhere. He is toying with me, leaving me a trail to follow. But where does this trail end? Scarecrows, a legendary symbol of the time of harvest. These dark artifacts usually indicate a sacrifice has been made or is about to occur. Proceed with caution. Am I about to die? Legs were tied. It's in his chest. We have a knife. Oh. I have a medallion. Okay, that looks like something that goes on the door. Where we were. Cook a medallion, medallion to slide along the track. Slide each medallion until they all line up with their frames slash holders. Okay. Here we go. What is in here? Okay. Bunch of portraits. Let's see. Breathtakingly lifelike. You can imagine. See it with your own eyes. They dance, they sing. The greatest show you'll ever see. A vision for the ages. The only way to capture him might be to find where he will strike next before he lures, lures more people to their bitter end. I would not have believed it that people could be turned into pub puppets. This poster looks old. He's been to this town before. Who knows how long he has been using this dark magic. The mob may not be wrong. This evil could explain the town's missing children for generations. You see the lines on the face are similar to that, guys. Okay, magic scene. Okay, there are different images in the rug here. So here's the wolf. We have cheese! Oh, we can give that to the rat! It's a way to go up door, but I want to check on that rat. Here you go. Yay! And we have a lens. Okay, so now that we're in the house, see what is upstairs. Something here. Missing a marble. Have a lens, but we don't have a marble. Okay. There's nothing here for us to immediately take, so let's go upstairs. Okay. That is a telescope. Telescopes. Made with science, the telescope allows the eye to see what is usually unseen. In the right hands, it can be used to transcend, to see truths, and to be used to reveal those things often ignored. The moon seems to have played a role in these disappearances. There must be a connection. It's clouded over when viewed from the town center, but I can actually see it fully from this attic. By my calculations, it should be at half full, but for some maybe magical reason, it is not. I should be able to use this light to good effect. Okay, let's see. Missing a lens. We have a lens. Ooh. Ah, we have a gym. Looks like we'll open that box for the scissors. Ah. Magic Grimm! <laughs> the Brothers Grimm. The Brothers Grimm. Okay. TBG Magic Grimm. The moon beam has allowed our magic to reach you. Our seer says you are now in the house of a once great family. Their child went missing more than a hundred years ago. The seer says this child is still alive, but made but made into a monster. She has seen it. We know a spell cannot last forever. 
It is the law of magic. Find this child and you will find the evil that has overtaken this town. Brothers Grimm. How could a child survive more than a hundred years? What a cruel and wicked curse. Object scene. Where's the last key? We have the top of a lion's head. We need the bottom to open that lock. Okay. So this seems to be a good place to stop. I will see you guys later when I get back to this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.